Professor Gostin, uh, to turn now to the World Health Organization, you've advised uh, uh, the WHO for decades. President Trump, of course, first accused uh, China as well as the WHO for being responsible for the pandemic. Uh, could you respond to that? And of course, Trump then uh, cutting funding to the WHO. Could you respond to his decision to do that, as well as the fact that you've said repeatedly that whatever the failings of the WHO and China, the U.S. is is responsible itself for its lack of preparedness uh, uh, for the pandemic. I have worked with the World Health Organization under many director generals um, for many years. And the current director general, the first African um, head of the World Health Organization, Dr. Tedros, um, is, I know him well. He's, he's a man of great integrity, great, uh, great uh, compassion. Uh, he cares a lot. Um, so you know, working with WHO, it can be sometimes can be maddening. Um, yes, they can be slow. They can be bureaucratic. But my God, what they've done for the world! Um, they er eradicated smallpox. They're on the verge of eradicating um, uh, wild polio. Um, they work in child and maternal health. They save the lives of of, of under five uh, children. They save the lives of women undergoing um, childbirth. Um, they work in um, diet and obesity and cancer and heart disease, mental health, injury prevention. I could go on and on. Um, so uh, to actually just try to kick the World Health Organization after all it's done on a budget around the size of one large U.S. hospital, I mean, rather than criticizing WHO, we should be dropping our jaw and thanking them um, for all the things that they've done. Uh, so what about this particular um, episode um, with the coronavirus in China? Um, uh, President Trump has said they, uh, WHO took China's side, but there is no sides to a, a pandemic. Um, and yes, uh, Dr. Tedros did praise China, but he's also praised President Trump. Um, that's just diplomacy. Um, I don't think that Dr. Tedros thinks that either President Trump or Xi Jinping have done a particularly great job uh, on this. And, and basically, WHO has been caught in a geopolitical power struggle between the world's two superpowers. And, in the, and, and at a time of a once-in-a-century public health crisis, um, that couldn't be more um, destructive. So what should the United States do? Um, it should lead a global coalition to at least double and at least double the uh, funding of the World Health Organization. Right now, we have the WHO we deserve because we've provided it with pitiful financing. Um, we've given it control over less than one quarter of its budget um, because we just earmark all the funds that we want for our pet projects. Um, we don't give it any political backing. And the proof positive is, as soon as you get on the wrong side of the American president, um, he withdraws funding. Um, so how is that providing the kind of political capital um, the director general needs to speak truth to power? So this, I see this as a, you know, it's a once in a lifetime crisis, but it's also a once in a lifetime opportunity. Out of every major catastrophe, we have to make an opportunity of it. And for me, that opportunity would be um, to provide an emboldened and strengthened, well-funded, politically backed World Health Organization. So in future pandemics and for future health crises, um, we have the WHO we so richly need, um, which is a powerful one that will stand up to big governments and stand for science, health, and equity.